this is a basic overview of Land Commander. Land Commander is a game distribution platform that uses Playnite as the front end. This is what the main interface looks like. We can click on games and see the games that have already been added. I'm just going to go through and quickly add Revolt and give it a test description. And then I don't really care about the release date. Um, eventually this will plug in from um, metadata sources, so you don't have to put this in manually and some of these options will be expanded. So we're going to hit save. That's going to create the entry for the game. Then we can go into edit and we can upload an archive. I'm just going to give this a version number. I'm going to choose the file that I want. Um, Land Commander will only take zip files and those zip files have to have a manifest in them. I'll have this in documentation, but you'll be able to go and upload that. And it will take any size file. It chunks it up into 25 megabyte chunks and sends it to the backend server that is running this. Upload complete. And you can see that it upload a 225 megabyte file. We can click here and, and download this file, but this is the admin page. We don't really want to do that. So now that we have it added to games, we can go into Play Night and uh, update the game library for Land Commander. And you can see it showed up here. I can hit install. And it's going to download it off the server and extract it. And hit breakpoint, ignore that. And then now we can go and play it. You can see the installation folder was C Games Revolt. We can click on that and it'll open that up. It's got all our files in here. Here's our manifest file. It's just a YAML file with some uh, basic configuration in there. And then we can hit uh, play. And it launches the game just fine. So this is uh, this is mainly meant for like LAN parties and uh, local play. Um, if you just want to have your own repository of games, it's again basically just a DIY Steam. Um, it's pretty cool. I just got some other functionality working. Um, in the future, probably soon, I'm going to add support for things like um, post install scripts and uh, CD key management. So it'll actually have a repository of CD keys that you can pull from. So if you have like, you know, 20 store bought. StarCraft CD keys. Um, it'll go through and you can have it change the CD keys for you on the fly um, and then reserve them to certain uh, previously how I've done it in other applications is reserve it based on MAC address of the computer uh, but since with LAN Commander we have user accounts uh, you could tie it to user accounts instead. Uh, so that's a basic overview. Uh, very very basic functionality right now just download and install but it seems to be working pretty well. So until next time, uh, I'll see you later.